Hey guys, welcome. Thank you so much for joining me today. I'm going to show you my Dollar Tree haul that I picked up. And the first thing that we got here is some foam mounting tape. These are pre-cut and they're double-sided tape. So they're good for when you want to do those 3D cards or something like that for your artwork. So I picked up one of these. i never seen them there before. So this is the first time I've seen them. And then I picked up some loot bags or treat bags. There's 10 in a pack. So it's about 25, which is great. And I had got red. They didn't have black. And these are good for when you want to make a album for your artwork and stuff. So hopefully these will be strong enough. If not, you mount them anyway with paper. And then we picked up three of these scented erasers. And you got the tacos, the pizza, or the nachos, hot sauce. We got the burgers and fries here and donuts. Picked these up for my daughter because she loves, loves, loves these kinds of things. And she likes to play with food. So I got her these. Good thing to have for a gift too. And then we got, which i never seen before, is these stamp acrylic blocks. This is a 3 inch by 3 inch acrylic block. So you just uh, place your uh, stamp on here and then you dab it into your ink and then you you ink it, you stick it on your paper. So I picked up one of these. This is the only size they had. Um, I'm looking for actually the longer one. I guess I have to go to Michael's and get it. But the Dollar Tree, $1.25, not, not a bad price for this one considering I spent uh, almost uh, $8 on one at Michael's. So this is pretty good. And then we got some napkins. They don't have really much uh, good kind of napkins if you want to do some artwork with it. So I picked up this one because I like, of course, the butterfly and the writings in the background. So hopefully I could do something good with that. And then I picked up a set of 12 placemats. Um, just the Mickey Mouse ones for my daughter. Um, that way when she wants to do her artwork and stuff on my desk, um, you could use one of these 12 placemats so she doesn't ruin the, the desktop. And then I also picked up for her one of these large jumbo art pads. Fun drawing stuff inside. Shows you what to, how you what to draw here. Butterfly and fishes and flowers and stuff. So I picked this up for her so she could do her, her drawings and whatever else. Painting that she likes to paint. And then... Also for my daughter, I got her one of these uh, two-sided dry erase practice boards so she could practice her alphabets. I don't know how it's double-sided. I guess you could just draw on that side. So I got her that. And then I also got her some uh, reproductibles here. They're uh, pre-Ks, NK for kindergarten. I got two of the one shapes. One is alphabets and numbers hard to see with the glare but this one's just you know the alphabet so she can learn and learn A's for alligator color the pictures and uh, write in the letters here and then she could trace the shapes and learn what the shapes are all about octagons and crescents for the moon and all that so I got two packs of them there's like 38 inside the pack so 38 uh, different uh, pages in here and also in here I got more treat bags. There's 10 in a pack, but I got these ones because I like the design on this one. This one, not so much, but the colors are good. And my daughter wants to always copy what I'm doing for my crafts. So when I want to make uh, a book album with the bags, she wants to copy me. So I bought these for her so she could do also. And then inside the bag, I got one of these. And this is an art therapy card and envelope set. They had a whole different bunch of kinds. They had um, food, they had flowers, they had butterflies, stuff like that. But I, I just wanted something simple. I wanted it because I wanted the envelopes too. Um, you get four designs inside. These are the four that you get. Cupcakes and stars and presents and that. Yeah, they had uh, one with always had party on it too. So there you go with the cards. And there's four sets inside, so you get four, which is not bad. 
And then also with that, I got this Art Therapy Living in Color. Um, they're the tags. And I got this shape of the tags, which is an awesome shape. You could always make these yourself, but I don't have the cutting things to cut along the borders. I don't have that tool yet. I haven't bought it, so I've just bought that. And then I got my daughter also the Shopkins um, Crayola markers. They're washable markers, and they only had the three sets there, so I got these three, which are cool because I know I bought her one set before, but it's not here, and it was one with cookie cookie on it. So it was like brown and those shades of colors. So this time I got these ones uh, to add to her collection, which are good. She loves using markers. And then I got also the Spiral Art Set for a buck twenty-five. It's pretty good, and it would be good for her. And it comes. It's like a little traveling one that you could take traveling. So that's good too. With a little carry handle. And then also in the bag I got, of course, some binder clips. I use these when I have to glue papers together. I use these so then it just binds it and then holds it. So when it's done finished drying, I could take it off and it'll be okay. And then I found the red tape. This is the double-sided art tape. It's permanent and it's clear. So we don't have this in uh, Canada that I've never seen before. But now I've see, I've seen it at the Dollar Tree. So I had to grab one. I see a lot of people in the U.S. using this for their crafts, and it's supposed to be stronger um, than the other tape, so I'm going to try it and see. And this is a quarter of an inch uh, tape, and six yards, which is pretty good for a buck twenty-five. And then I found some Mod Podge. This is the little one, it's only a two flow ounce. It's the water-based sealer glue and finish. I have the other kind, this is just the matte one. I have the other one that is um, the waterproof one and all that. So I got this one, so I could always reuse the bottle too. And then I found some Dippity Doo Color Gel. It's temporary hair color, and this is the pink one. Uh, my older daughter just recently bought a green hair dye, I guess. Uh, she wants to just dye part of the hair, not all of it. So I thought maybe get this pink one and see if this one will work um, for a buck twenty-five, and it's by Dippity Do, the people of the gel company. So this is colored gel, and it washes out faster if you just want to put it in for a day. Put it in, and wash it right out. And then I ended up getting, of course, from J.K. Rowling's Wizarding World, the Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them, and this is the sticker album. Um, I wanted this because I wanted to do a collection of Harry Potter and this is just another part of the Harry Potter scene so I had to make sure I picked this book up and fill it up with all the stickers that I should be getting oh look at this one oh this one opens up Harry Potter who does not love Harry Potter oh look you can make your book here um, this is this album is reversible. Okay, so if you don't want to use this side of Fantastic Beasts, you can use the Harry Potter side. <laughs> it opens up. I haven't watched the movie yet. I'm dying to see it. I can't wait to see it. I know it's already out, but I like to watch movies sometimes at home and not go out and watch it because I have a little four-year-old and she's not into Harry Potter. So and that's the Harry Potter one. And then on, on with that, I also got um, five packs of the stickers. There are seven stickers in each pack, so I got five of them for now. Hopefully I don't get no doubles. <laughs> so that goes with that. And then, of course, Beauty and the Beast. I'm sure this is going to be an awesome movie. So this is her Enchanted sticker album for Beauty and the Beast. And I was going to say there's not going to be any pictures, but there are some pictures, very, very little pictures, not as much as Fantastic Beasts had. Oh, look, none of the pages have pictures. That is odd. This, they usually have like background pictures, but these background pictures I don't like, but it'll do. Oh, I love that piano. Credenza, look at that right there. 
so this is the Beauty and the Beast one. And hopefully I can fill it all out and, and get it all. And then we also got five packs of the Beauty and the Beast stickers. And I think there are seven in here also. The, yep, yeah, there are seven stickers in each pack. So I got five of these. Hopefully I don't get no dabbles. And there you have it. The Beauty and the Beast one. So this is everything that I got at my Dollar Tree. This is a big, big haul. Spent lots of money today. So there you have it, everyone. Great craft supplies, great crafting stuff, especially the stamp thing that I was looking for. You can never have too many of those. They have ink sets also over there, but I didn't want to buy the ink because I didn't know how well it would work. But maybe next time I go, I'll probably pick up an ink set. They only had uh, three colors, though. Actually, four colors. Black, green, red, and uh, blue. I was looking for more of a, a light brown or a tan color, but they never had that. But then, anyway, this is everything that I got. So, guys, thank you so much for joining me today. Until next time.